Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and a swatch of the K-Beauty Creme Blushes. Now they have come out with five shades. I have picked out four of them. So as always, you can check the description box below to see the shade names. And I have also done kind of like a wear test on my oily, greasy skin. So you can stay tuned for that. Now for foundation shade reference, I'm NC40 in MAC and in Maybelline, I'm 310 Sun Beige. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video quickly go over the features of these blushes now it says that it is super lightweight it's highly pigmented natural finish buildable and blendable no streaks on the go use long lasting and transfer proof now these are cruelty free and paraben free as well and like i mentioned before they offer a total of five shades and these are priced for 799 rupees for 10 ml of product so this is how the packaging looks like which is kind of color coordinated with the white cap at the back you have is the shade name along with all the other details and initially when it came it had a protective layer over here which you have to peel it off and this is how the actual product looks like and now let's finally move on to the swatches All right, so let's quickly go over the formula, the pros and the cons. Now, firstly, these blend like a dream. It's packed with pigment, so a little goes a long way with these. And also, these have a nice, soft, moussey sort of a texture. And once you blend it on your skin, it settles into a satin matte finish. To get the full opacity, you can use your fingers to apply them. Or my personal favorite is by using a brush. And if you use like a wet sponge, it will kind of shear it down a bit and you will have to build it up to get the desired pigmentation. However, when you use a wet sponge it does give a beautiful glow on your face so it is perfect if you're looking for that no makeup makeup sort of a look then you can use a wet sponge it will look 
beautiful now about the longevity of these on my oily greasy skin so i will insert a video with the timestamp and everything and uh, i went out with minimal makeup it was super hot and humid i was sweating and obviously i was oily and my mask was on as well and these lasted on me for like about three hours and it was kind of disappeared now coming to the transfer proof part of it it was slightly transferred on my mask not that much it was not that clearly visible but very lightly very very lightly transferred on my mask but yeah it only lasted for like about three hours with minimal makeup however if you are on full glam like full makeup like right now it will depend on how strong your makeup is again this is for oily skin so yeah it will depend on how good your base makeup is and last but not least i do love the packaging it's a teeny and tiny squeezy tube which is travel friendly as well and uh, oh i do love all the four shades that i've picked out i have been using each one of them on and off and uh, yeah i love the shades and now for the cons there are two points the first point is that i really wish they had just a few more shades which cater to darker skin tone i'm not talking about dusky i'm talking talking about darker skin tone because if you are fair or medium skin tone these shades will be beautiful on you however if you are like a dusky skin tone you may have to build it up a little bit more and if you're darker skin tone you'll have to build up quite a lot more rather than that i wish they had just a few more shades which would be amazing for the dark chocolatey skin tone girls out there now just a good example is the flower beauty shade in bitten that is a beautiful reddish maroonish shade and that shows up so well if you have darker skin tone so yeah that's the first point for me and lastly for the second con is to do with the longevity of these blushes if you have oily and greasy skin like how i do now if you have dry or normal skin you will love this blush and you can just ignore this point but then if you have oily skin like mine and spending 7.99 rupees for a blush that lasts for like two to three hours is not that worth it rather you can buy a better blush which lasts much more longer on your oily skin so yeah that is the last con for me so overall in my personal opinion if you have dry or normal skin you can blindly go for this blush it is beautiful and it is great for makeup or no makeup sort of a look and if you are planning to buy it i would highly highly recommend waiting for a sale or whenever the price is lower and then buy it oh another point that i kind of forgot to mention which i'll put it under fii is the pricing for the quantity that you get now i personally feel that the pricing is kind of in par with the other cream blushes that's there in the market for example is the flower beauty one it is kind of similarly priced with a similar quantity however the makeup revolution one has more in quantity and lesser in pricing compared to the k-beauty one so if you are planning to buy it buy it during a sale i think i've mentioned that already did i okay yeah so buy it when the price is lower so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the k-beauty creme blushes and this wrap today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so the notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try and visit for you as well as follow me on my socials which is shanayar on instagram and shanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye